Good morning and welcome back to the Social Stack 66 Day Challenge. Get started in social media. I'm Amy Stack and today is day 39 of our challenge. Instagram content insights. In this challenge, you'll learn how to access different metrics all about the content you have already posted. Before we do that, if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about marketing and social media for your business, start now by subscribing to my channel. Just click that red subscribe button and then the bell icon. Okay. I want to get started by giving you a little bit of background um, about insights. So first of all, insights are only available on the Instagram mobile app. They will let you learn more about your followers and how your content performs with your audience. You can also view insights for specific posts and stories you've created to see how each have performed and how people engaged with them. As I mentioned earlier, we're just going to review content insights for today. I'm breaking it up into little sections for you, so we'll do a couple more challenges with different aspects of insights. So for today, I want you to go to your profile and you can access insights right under that edit profile button in the middle, just tap that word insights. So you can see we have content, activity, and audience. Right here we're going to stay on content today. Currently you can see that it's giving me a view of a week here and it's showing my posts and I can tell you you wouldn't know this without looking at my page, my, my um, profile here, uh, but you, these are in order of the most interactions, the most views, the biggest reach. So this post got 87 views this week, and this one got 42. So it's showing them in order of most views. Now, from here, I can go ahead and click the See All button, and that will give us some more options I'm going to show you in a moment. Before we do that, I want to show you... If you are interested in learning about one of these specific posts, you just tap on it. So I want to see this one that had the most views this week. Here's the full post. It reopens for us. Okay. And just under the image, we can see View Insights again. So I'm going to tap that, View Insights. And then you can see the little drawer opens up at the bottom about Post Insights. You can see that this had nine likes. There were no comments, shares, or saves on it. You can see one person came and visited our profile because of this post and it reached 87, which we knew from the previous page. So that's all the insights it's got for us on that specific post until you drag that drawer all the way up. So you can even get more analytics in there. So you can see under discovery that 33% of the people that were reached weren't even following this profile. So that's pretty cool. There were a total of 103 impressions, and you can see how they saw it. So 69 of that 103 saw it because it showed up on their home screen. 32 saw it from the hashtags. So that means people uh, that were following a hashtag that I used saw that post and saw me because of that hashtag. And then two people were from the profile, meaning they came and visited our profile and saw it. So that's some insights on how to get that information for you. I'm just going to go back. So this is where we started. And the other thing I wanted to show you is if you tap that see all to the right of the word posts. So this is showing you a whole bunch of posts, not just those top performing ones. And you can see in the top, we've got some filters. So I can tap all. And I can see if I just want to look at photos or videos, etc. I have it on everything, so all types of posts. Then the next one is our time frame that we want to look at and analyze. So it was already on a one year. If I only wanted to look at the last week, I would just choose seven days. So these are all the posts that went up in the last seven days. I'm going to open that up and give us a little bit longer. We'll go back to the year. And then the last option here is the interaction information. So it always defaults to reach. I'm going to close this little drawer. And you can see right now we've got 165, 128. That's how many people it reached. Now if I tap reach and 
change that interaction, I'm going to change it to engagement. Now you can see my numbers have changed and the posts have changed. So while these posts had a lot of engagement, meaning somebody you know liked it, let's go ahead and tap on that one about Michelle. I'm going to click that view insight button again. You can see she had 19 likes, there were four comments, zero shares and zero saves. But seven people came to visit the profile because of that and then there was a grand total of a 72 reach. And then I pulled open that drawer again and you can get the rest of the information from below. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Yet, let's go back to our reach setting. Our highest reach was this video here. And I'm gonna click View Insights on that. And you can see there were 16 likes, three comments, one share, and it, no saves. So I'm guessing the big difference here was the share. So because somebody shared it, it really increased our reach from the 80s to the, almost, it doubled it. It doubled the reach because one person shared it. Okay, so you can play around with all of these different things, whatever you wanna sort by. So if you're shooting for likes, go ahead and tap likes and see which one got the most likes. Michelle's post was at the top again there. If I go to follows, so this is a really interesting one. How many people followed be, because they clicked on this post and then they went and followed your profile? So if you have one that's, you know, like 50 people followed you that day, well, you know that that content was popular and maybe do something like that again. So you can see there's a whole bunch of different options you can play around with in here. And you can look at them based on what your goals are for your business. So now you know how to change the interaction you want to look at, the time frame of all the posts you want to look at, and which specific post type you want to look at. You can do all of that from that see all button. And your overview is always going to be that past week. So that is how you can go ahead and get insights on the content you have been posting. And I want you to go ahead and tell me in the comments below which interaction you're most interested in learning about for your account. So are you interested in learning about reach? Maybe your likes. Do you want to know about how many people have shared your posts, saved it? What's most intriguing for you? Go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And then that's going to conclude our training for today. But go ahead and remember to join me tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Central for our next challenge. We'll be going over the activity insights. So remember to come on back and I will see you then.